Hey guys, Liam the Music Reviewer here. A lot of stuff happened today. Pug and me double upload. Uh, talking about this new Igloo Ghost song, Clear to My. I want to say that's how it's pronounced. Again, pronunciations and myself aren't aren't the best of friends. And yep, iPhone is back again. Usually use this for the track reviews, reactions. Um, but first, obviously I never really did a reaction or review to um, Night Racer, it was called. Um, essentially, Igloo Ghost is uh, is an Irish producer who brought out Neo Wax Bloom last year. Easily one of the best electronic albums of last year. A uh, personal favourite of mine from last year. If I had actually listened to it last year, it would have been on my best albums of the year list without a doubt. So much vibrance, so much energy. Just it, it, despite the fact that it was constantly, constantly like hyperactive, it never felt exhausting or that it became stagnant. And with these two EPs that are coming out in August um, that I plan on reviewing, um, the, f the first single, Night Racer, sounds like a different sort of sound. Maybe something that um, obviously might have some stuff in, in kind of relation to what he's done before, but it does feel like it's going on a more kind of different route. It feels more kind of, like, as, as the name would imply, like some sort of like neon -y, like driving game or something like that. Um, like that game Blur or something that came out like 2011 or something like that. It's kind of like what I would probably imagine it being in. Um, it's that one was honestly just astounding. Kind of lost words just now. And it clear to my, it it definitely feels like more of a neo wax bloom kind of song. Even just looking at the cover for the EP, um, it definitely kind of has something in common. Um, according to Glue Ghost himself in the description of the video. There's there's these two beings and these two beings are on the on the cover art themselves. Um, I, I really don't know how committed Igloo Ghost is to like the lore of his stuff or how much they become incorporated in the music itself. We, we won't really know until the EP itself. I imagine there's going to be some sort of like contrast and some sort of just some sort of like artistic payoff to this or maybe it's just to fill in the, the character count and description who knows um but with this song clear to my it starts off it's pretty soft and um it's kind of confusing as well i saw fader share the music video for this saying that it's like teletubbies meets uh, twin peaks and you can definitely get that kind of vibe just from the song itself and um, it starts off very soft very alluring it's just it's it's kind of it feels quite classic and then around about things like a minute and a half into it things just go AWOL. It, 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 I can very much see the Twin Peaks comparison here because it is like the Black Lodge meets the real world kind of thing and everything's just going absolutely crazy. A lot of kind of like kind of jungle drum and bass kind of sound here. Um, I don't think what Igloo Ghost doing here is like revolutionising that sound but it definitely is like bringing it back into kind of like I don't want to say the mainstream, but it's definitely like bringing it back. It isn't, it isn't kind of dumb or not cool anymore. Um, and it's just kind of like incorporated in that way that, yep, it, is, it feels like it could be a B-side to New Wax Bloom. Who knows how, if, if it actually was or not, or if it was kind of just an idea that kind of got left in the cutting room floor and then got fleshed out. At no point does it feel like it's underdeveloped. I've, I've listened to it about eight or nine times at this point. And I, I really do think this is just as good, if not better, than what we got on Neo Wax Bloom. I feel that it can kind of like stand on its own two feet. Um, and just really, um, regardless of whether or not what Igloo Ghost keeps saying in, in the description that about kind of lore and all that, you said it before with songs on Neo Wax Bloom as well, but like, depending on if they're actually just kind of like gibberish or not, you can definitely kind of, you get that kind of like a visual image of like these. Like I really kind of like, like I say, the soft intro, these two beings kind of like being brought into the same room and then just bam, clashing, just don't, do not want to be in the same environment. It's going absolutely AWOL. I, I think it's, I, I, the, vid the video alongside this is one of my favourites of the year as well. Just, it's just absolutely stunning. But really this kind of like track review itself is really just to say how, just, just how great this song is, how excited I am for these EPs. I definitely will be. Um, reviewing them, um, maybe I'll be reviewing them someday. Um, who knows? Um, <clears throat> but um, yeah, I do, I do think that the way that it kind of incorporates that kind of classic neo wax bloom sound 
brings in more kind of drum and bass jungle to it and does it definitely works in its favour and it just well not it's not like wholly original it's just a fucking lot of fun guys it's so vibrant so beautiful it sounds so beautiful and just uh just it's almost like you can hear the colors which sounds like i've had some beforehand but like and there's probably some sort of like kind of condition or like some sort of like description for this not that i have it with every kind of sound but like it feels like you're just having this kind of like rainbowy kind of like array of colors just like flashing in front of just in, like inside your ears um but yeah guys this is my review reaction to this igloo ghost um track um there there is another video that i upload today with um, my pal jake from transistor cast um friends on film um it might eventually get moved over to his channel when he starts doing it more but we thought we'd we'd give it to you guys see if you if it's something you are interested in if film especially hereditary and cinematography is to your interest then please check it out i'll plug it just now it should be here and uh yeah just uh look look for a new review tomorrow of uh, real friends i'll get around to death heaven as well and if yeah if there's anything you guys want me to check out just let me know in the comments but as always guys thank you for watching and stay safe and stay hydrated